Hello, my name is Stanislav Grabec and uh, I, will, I will talk uh, to you about translations. Uh, translations are not um, uh, complicated uh, for, uh, from the aspect of uh, programming. It is, just, uh, it is just correct using of GetText and uh, those tools. Uh, but uh, it is complicated uh, f from the aspect of the workflow because um, uh, the programmer is not the person who translates uh, and uh, many translators are involved uh, for many languages. Uh, so um, to get translations uh, into the application, uh, we need a way uh, how to communicate with translators and uh, with uh, developers um, uh, and uh, interchange uh, the data. The old system, which we, have, we which we are still using in SUSE, is is a LCN based on SVN. This is just a SVN repository with a lot of POT files and PO files with translations. It's command line only, so program. So it is easy to use by programmers, but not easy to use by translators. Uh, translators have to use SVN, which is a uh, programmer tool, and uh, there is no integration uh, with, uh, with uh, the, the system, uh, so programmers have to do many steps by hand. Uh, so uh, it looks just, uh, just now uh, as, uh, as uh, you see. Uh, the source code is uh, present on GitHub, and uh, Programmers have to regularly get POT files and manually upload it to LC and SVN. Uh, then translators will get PO files manually again, and uh, the, then translators uh, will translate there, and uh, programmers again will PO file manually up, upload to OSC together with GitHub changes. So uh, sometimes it doesn't run uh, as, uh, des as described, and the path from GitHub to OSC takes seven years. <laughs> just, <laughs> just for example, when we migrated some some packages, uh, we found uh, this fact. So we just need something different. And there is, uh, there is uh, again a problem with uh, LCN. Uh, the branches started sometimes in 200, uh, 2004 before NLD when, uh, we, when old SUSE translations have been moved to novel Linux desktop and used by professional translators as a base. Uh, then the, those professional work has been moved to SLE 10 again uh, with strings based on uh, the old SUSE, then again to SLE 11 and SLE 12, uh, and only few strings which have been new have been token from OMPE SUSE. Uh, the result is a great diver divergence. Uh, some projects has half of the strings different in uh, open SUSE and in SLD 12. Uh, so if you, uh, if you uh, check if you test uh, SLE 12 and if you test um, uh, Tumbleweed you, you, or, or Leap, you will see that the translations are completely different for the same package. This is something we don't want to, to, to have because one single project, two translations, two terminologies, and uh, two translators, and work done twice. So, there is a new tool called WebLate. This is something completely different. It is web-based, uh, so any, anybody could start with translations. But still, custom editors are supported, so, so translators uh, could uh, download it, edit it in favorite editor, and upload again. It is integrated with Git and GitHub, uh, so it can push directly to Git, and when uh, when we are using GitHub, it um, gives a notification from GitHub changes back to WebLate. So the strings in POT files uh, will appear in seconds in WebLate, and um, reverse, reversely, uh, changes in translations will appear 
in uh, not more than hours back in GitHub. Well, and uh, WebLite has quality checks, so many bad translations uh, could be fixed uh, even before we get a bug report. And WebLite has an API, yes, new feature, so we can write um, batches for downloading, uploading, and manipulation with it. So, how it sh should look in future when WebLite will be uh, used for most projects. WebLite will communicate in two direct directions with, web with WebLite, and Packagers has uh, only to take a package from GitHub and uh, and, uh, and uh, submit to OSE. And even uh, this way could be automated, so any change from GitHub uh, could uh, result in automatic submit to OSC. Uh, so in the best case, uh, when WebLite translator will do some translation, in two hours we will have it in GitHub, and in several, in, Again, several hours we will have it in repositories. Well, and the translation model will look differently again. The tumbleweed will be base, continually developed, and uh, in some moment we will branch it and create SLE translations, leap translations. In case of SLE SP2, it will be only a few packages, but we plan. Uh, to base all translations um, on Tumbleweed for SLE 13. Well, uh, now we have started the pilot, pr pilot project. Um, this is a set of packages that are common for uh, SLE and for uh, Leap and OpenSUSE. So um, we, have to, we have to solve the problems with commercial translators and communication between contracted translators and community. So we decided to pick uh, several packages to test, uh, to test uh, it. Uh, there are two possibilities how uh, the code is developed. Uh, one is uh, with one code base when uh, the same code is used uh, for both um, OpenSUSE, Tumbleweed and uh, SLE. Uh, so, uh, so the translation base is also the, the same and uh, translators have to co cooperate with, with community. Uh, there are two packages in this model, libzip and zipper. And uh, those packages will be based on WebLite uh, translations. And uh, the second model is uh, the model with two branches when two branches exist in uh, in the repository and uh, two branches can be translated separately. But still, uh, WebLite is uh, capable to copy changes from one branch to another branch. This type of package is just slideshow, which has um, a leap branch and a branch for SLE. Well, just uh, the web for, uh, for the translation server is easy. As you can see, there is a, uh, there is a tree where you see a project, uh, branch, language, and you can translate. Uh, there is a source in the package. There is a translation you can, uh, you, can you, you are entering. There is a similar languages translation. You can pick languages which you are interested in. And uh, there you can see nearby messages in the source, suggestions, in this case, uh, SLE Merge Robot, which is a tool which attempts uh, to um, unify the translations between SLE and uh, Leap, suggests the translation that have been used in in last version of SLE, and some of the translators uh, should decide which is the best one. You can accept, accept and edit, and delete su such suggestion. So. Uh, if, if you don't decide, uh, if, if, you tra if, if translators uh, from the community don't decide uh, this week, then uh, contracted translators uh, will be uh, paid for decision of the final translation. Then uh, it is possible to create a glossary for a particular language, and uh, here is a connection to the source 
So you can uh, you can buy you you can get source uh, context by one one click. And uh, there is a lot of quality checks, uh, so uh, many translations uh, which, which are not fully correct are catched just uh, before any commit, and uh, like translators uh, can uh, fix them, uh, and, uh, and the re result which appears in GitHub, GitHub will be correct. So uh, there is an example from one, one project that has uh, very many uh, of, of those checks. Well, and uh, this is uh, what you will never see in WebLite. Uh, this, is a, uh, this is a model which is used uh, internally by WebLite for permissions. Here, uh, there, are, there are a set of permissions that, that can be dedicated to, to some users of groups. And uh, administrator will check, will decide which uh, permissions will be granted to to particular users. So uh, just now, the the whole open source web, web blade is um, open for editing anything um, by any registered users, and uh, unregistered users can make suggestions of new changes. It will uh, change in future because uh, sorry uh, because uh, we plan uh, some quality improvements. Uh, we will uh, plan to create review teams per language, so uh, some people uh, which are trusted and uh, made uh, in past uh, good translations will become uh, review, review reviewers and any other members of community which wants to translate to the same language has to do some suggestions and uh, suggestions will be reviewed and uh, then um, only trusted users will get permission to edit a particular language. Uh, when uh, it, it is, uh, then it is planned advanced uh, privileges support uh, which will uh, help fine tuning of privileges for particular users. So, um, there could be uh, um, administrators for a particular language that have been privileges only to manipulate with particular languages or particular projects. Well, um, then uh, something we will, we will need for, uh, for 100% uh, review is, is, is support for work on different branches. Uh, then uh, we will need uh, uh, we will need 100% uh, review for SLE that is uh, done by contracted um, person, contracted translators. Uh, but community should be free to continue in translation in uh, Tumbleweed. So uh, we will need some implementation improvements to uh, support this. And uh, this is very related uh, with support for freezes. So we can make freeze of translations in some moment and send uh, all those translations to reviewers. So reviewers will be sure that uh, they are reviewing exactly that uh, with this, which is planned for the release. And uh, the last feature, maybe not last, but just now last, is the pending review model. When uh, translators will be able to translate, uh, the string will appear immediately in the GitHub and in the project, but it will be checked like, um, uh, like a string that needs a review by trusted person, so we we will have better control over uh, all changes that are done. Well, this is a this is everything for the presentation, and now we can look into the into the package into the web itself. The only method we, we can uh, we can use for login is uh, just now uh, integrated with OpenSUSE infrastructure. Uh, so your OpenSUSE login can be used uh, in WebLite as well. Uh, then uh, you have a dashboard uh, where you can subscribe uh, uh, to languages and projects you are interested in. But you can uh, look at all projects. Just. This is a complete list of uh, packages that are now translated um, in WebLite.
you see that uh, there are um, some packages I have mentioned for the pilot project, but some only only packages in uh, OpenSUSE, and we all already um, support community by uh, several projects like I ICL or ISVM, which where our L10 and uh, is upstream for translations. So uh, we can uh, look how it looks. Uh, there you see uh, two branches, so you can pick branch we want to translate. You can, can pick your language. And now you are in and you can start to translate. Just uh, you can, uh, you can uh, for example, uh, only look at the, the checks. Uh, only, uh, only, ch only the strings with checks. There are nine, uh, nine such fil filing strings in German translation. For example, here you can see <coughs> sorry, uh, the problem that the translation is the same. It is probably correct, so you can you can here decide to delete such check and save and go to the next string so i think it is very easy to to create um, to, to start the translations uh, ever even if you don't anything about po files and pot files uh, you, if even if you don't uh, nothing about SVN, so you are welcome to start and participate because uh, translation of uh, open source cannot be done without community because translators don't speak your language very probably. So, do we have any questions? Are there any plans to add some kind of screenshots or possibilities to, to see the GUI of the program to verify, okay, is this translation fitting in this context or? Well, screenshot, screenshots uh, don't exist yet. Uh, that's, that's such feature and very, very probably it will not happen because it is it's, not. It's complicated, I know. <laughs> it is very, very complicated. You can only look uh, at the source code. Mm. Uh, this is uh, this this is a link to directly to to the GitHub. I'm thinking about possible feature uh, just uh, just apply on fly, but it would need uh, many hacking. Uh, so so the host machine will download any string from the blade like a test like a test drive, but it is just about uh, just an idea. Not uh, no code is written for it. So I didn't mention the the address. It is easy. L10 and open source org. Anybody can can browse there and start. So thank you.